Hello there, Pisces. This is going to be your New Year's resolution love oracle reading. And as you can see, I've already shuffled the cards just to take away some of the time um, spent um, shuffling because it does take a while for me to shuffle. So I've already did that. And for Pisces, this is for your sun, moon, or rising signs or anyone who has Pisces in their chart. You may resonate with this also. Okay, so where are you when it comes to love and the new year? What is your theme for the new year? You have unconditional love. <clears throat> so for the new year, you're going to be focused on what it is to really love, what love truly means for you in its purest form, in its highest form. It's going to be in a way that you haven't experienced it before. It could be that your heart, is, your heart is expanding in ways that it hasn't. You're loving in ways that you haven't loved before. You're receiving love in the ways that you haven't before. It's like this pure loving energy all around you. So this is something new, something that you have not yet experienced. Okay, for things that need to be released <clears throat> before the new year, you have humility the great council it's kind of dark but these are dolphins you can't see um you have to release it's like this harsh energy feeling alone feeling separated feeling depressed um just feeling a lot of sadness discontent Disconnected, abandonment, loneliness, isolation. It's like you have to release that because it's like you don't see that you're a part of humanity. You feel like you're alone, which you're not. Also, with the Great Council, you have divine spirits all around you, like guardians of the universe that are there as your companions that are always with you. And it's like you have to see that as well. But the majority of this message and the energy is that you have to release feeling separated and feeling alone when it comes to love. <clears throat> you don't ever want to seek love, whether it be with romance or people in your life that you care about. You don't ever want to seek or try to give love when you don't feel it within yourself or when you don't have it to give because you're coming from a place of lack. And you're learning what it means to be pure in your love and to receive love from a pure place. This is something new for you, okay? So you have to let go of the old and what love is, that you're alone, that you'll never have, okay? So what goals would be in your highest good to set for the new year when it comes to love? <clears throat> you have abundance. It says healing with the nature kingdom. Okay, so this is like creating from a limitless place, setting intentions. Like, I feel like you can set a lot of intentions this year. Um, whether they be big or small to you, but set ones that are limitless. Don't limit yourself. Look at it as, I have the power to create. There's all of this energy around me. There's all this divine help. So it's just, it's like almost like go wild with your intentions, as many intentions and goals as you can set, whether you, whether you uh, achieve all of them in the year or not, doesn't really matter, but they're telling you to utilize this time to set an abundance of goals and intentions that you would like from a place of non-limitation. So be open. Like really go within and just go wild like your biggest dreams because you're very intuitive. You're very, you're, you have a dreamy energy where you, you tend to daydream a lot. You're very creative, very watery energy, like able to like almost like childlike creativity and dreams and visions like that people might not think about whatever even imagine you can so it's like come from that space create from that space set your intentions from that space 
and how to achieve those goals, you have the trust card. Pond sparkle. <clears throat> but trust. So how to achieve these goals, you have to really trust and believe in what it is that you're even writing down or stating out to the universe, affirming however you, you know, however you write or set goals, but however you do it. You have to have that trust and faith and belief behind what you're doing, what you're saying, what you're affirming, what you're envisioning to bring it about. Because if you're just doing it from a place of um, just being frivolous with it, not really looking at it, and it's not really coming from your heart, then it's just like I don't take this seriously and it doesn't have any power behind it. The intention doesn't have any power. So come from a place where you actually believe in these things, no matter how outlandish they might seem to you or anybody else. But these are like my dream. These are like a child fantasizing and daydreaming, believing in fairies, believing in the tooth fairy or whatever. It's like being like childlike in your faith and trusting that this dream will come true type of thing. Like, whatever I'm focusing on, it will happen because it's coming from my heart and I'm having fun with it. It's like you're having fun with it, not coming from a place of manipulation or a place of lack, but like a place of whole, like whole, wholeness and joy and optimism, like this childlike innocence that if I want to like something just so simple, like I've always dreamed of swimming in the ocean with the dolphins, but I never really thought I could do it or had the means to do it. I don't know how I'm going to get there, but I would love to do it. Something like that. Okay. Lessons that you are to learn in love for the new year. You have godliness, dimensional overlap. It's interesting. So the lesson that you must learn, it's like your divinity, your true power, like what you're capable of. It's kind of like you're limiting yourself in some way. Like you don't believe in your power too much. And even though you have this essence about you that's childlike in nature, you can create from that space. That's like your gift. But it's like you don't see it as a divine or you don't even see it as a gift at all, possibly. But it's like your divine essence, who you really are, what you're capable of what you can do so you're gonna learn that through this like I'm not just working here in this dimension I'm working in other dimensions I have power in other places I have friends in high places in other places that are helping me and assisting me so you're gonna see through that you're gonna learn through that as you continue to create and as you continue to go through the year throughout the year it's gonna it's gonna come about somehow which I'll get into <clears throat> but the new energies and new experiences and love that you'll be moving into, you have celebration. So this new love that you're feeling, it's like you're going to be feeling very close to everyone around you. This new energy, some of you will be meeting or dating um, new people. You're going to experience like a lot of socializing, I'm getting, that you'll be socializing a lot. That you're not just going to... It's like you're going to keep your options open. You're enjoying the dating life. For those of you who are in serious relationships, you'll be celebrating. There's a lot to look forward to. I'm getting like a lot of travel for coupled up. Some of you will, the celebration will be some engagement, some marriages, something big in your relationship. So for a majority of you, it's a lot of travel and it's a lot of socializing, whether you're single or partnered. Okay, <clears throat> self-discovery, what will you just dis discover about yourself within love for the new year? You have creativity, nectar of divine essence. You're going to discover just how powerful your divine gift is, your creativity. You're an envision, like you're a visionary. You invent, like you have this, you're very, very creative like I said you're day you're a, a dreamer but your dreams the things that you actually daydream about they have power behind them they're not something that like to others it's like Disneyland stuff it's not realistic it can't happen 
But for somehow for you, you're able to execute that. You actually can manifest that. A lot of you. And you're going to see that in some way or shape or form that utilizing your true gifts, your visions, these things can actually be. And you're going to be very shocked and very surprised by that. And you're going to actually see that that's something like this is a gift for me. This is something that I didn't really recognize I had, that godliness I didn't recognize it, okay? So I'm going to pull a card from the Angel Gods and Goddesses deck for you, Pisces, as advice to take for you the new year. What does Spirit, the Divine Spirit, the Archangels, the Guardians of the Universe, who are love, pure love, service, and justice, and want the highest good of all? What is the advice that you have for Pisces for the new year when it comes to love? Okay, God of indulgence, it's all right. Stop beating yourself up. A little indulgence in balance is healthy. Okay. <clears throat> so being a little childlike with love, having fun with this, being colorful, being innovative, being dreamy, do it as long as it's not unhealthy. Like, you're doing it overindulgence of it where you're not able to function in the reality and you're not looking at things from a practical sense when it calls to be in that space, okay? So like you're at work and you're too focused and you're just sitting back daydreaming and you're not doing the work or you know that you have responsibilities in your, in your everyday life, but you just choose to sit in bed all day and just dream, daydream and focus on the what ifs and hows and it's like utilize it when the timing is appropriate for this um having that inner child energy works for us because it helps us to be balanced as adults if we're too serious it's like we're just stuck on this plane and we're not evolving but if we have this childlike essence within it helps make our world more colorful more joyful more happy we're relating to others. We're connecting with everything and everyone around us. It also helps us to connect with spirit because it's like we don't have any limits to our beliefs. We're able to talk to ourselves or so we think we're talking to ourselves or talk to imaginary friends, which we're really talking to spirit guides or angels or ancestors. It's healthy to have that, but not overindulgence where it's like you're neglecting your everyday life or your responsibilities okay so that was your reading Pisces for the new year I do hope that you'll find this reading beneficial and helpful and as always I send you guys lots of love lots of light and have a happy new year take care